Um, this one I use, it's just a little different how I got there. So you still see the strip up the middle and then the front and the back piece, right? But what I did differently here, because this was a very petite shoulder, is I ended up splitting this into a Y strip and I used an I strip. So let me just kind of show you that real fast. Just so you see, I put it in the notes there for you to remember this. And then you're gonna stand just equal, yep, so that glutes kind of are engaged. And you're gonna tip over. And then I'm also gonna have you kind of go like that. So we've got, her tissue is nice and taut now. And so I'm gonna come right up the middle, as you saw, and I would have sprayed if, if she was okay with that. So this is for muscle. So whether it's for inhibition, you would do paper off uh, or zero to 15%, or if it's for facilitation, you would pull a little bit higher at that um, 25 uh, to 50%. If you're trying to create more of a blocking stabilization, you would be pulling more 50, even maybe even 75%. Okay, so you have a lot of variations here. But let's just say we're trying to support her muscle. And I'm just showing this that if this area here is pretty small and narrow, like it was on this patient, I could split this so that I'm hugging through here. And then I need that like just a hair long. So I'm going to just round that. And then I'm gonna just, I think this one's gonna be a little long, so I'll pre-cut. And then again, same kind of concept. That's why I like to spray. And then you noticed that this second piece got layered below the first piece. So I didn't lay it directly on or else that would just be popping right off. So we wanna really make sure, and then again, you would give that a nice little rub. And then what I also did here in this case was I supported the supraspinatus because it felt like, I think in the eval, it felt like she had some supraspinatus tendinopathy. Mm -hmm. So if I know where supraspinatus is, right, it's living right in this little crescent of the uh, spine of the scapula. And so I'm going to go I'm gonna grab that little end piece and I'm gonna go one above and I'm gonna go one below. And that's kind of how right along the spine of the scapula. So I go just above it thinking right below it is supraspinatus and then I go right below it. So you wanna create, remember with the gastroc head, it was the same concept. You supported the gastroc heads around to kind of give them a lift. Here's the same concept, give it a good rub, and then they're ready to go, okay? So I just wanted you to see that one was a hair different. Um, okay, and then the last thing I wanna